Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question is from the topic of complex numbers. And in this question, we have been told that A, B, X, Y, all are, let's say, some real numbers where it is said that A minus B is 1, Y is not equal to 0. And we have been further told that Z is one complex number, which is X plus I, Y where x is the real part and y is the imaginary part because it is i, right? And further, we have been given an expression that says imaginary part of az plus b upon z plus 1 is equal to y. Now, we need to find out the options which can be the best possible values of x. So, we may have more than one answer correct in this question. Four options are given. Let's understand which of them can be the values of x out of those four options. So first of all, let's start solving this expression only. So we have been given that imaginary part of az plus b upon z plus 1 is equal to y. And we already know that z is some complex number given by x plus i y. So I can replace this z as x plus i y in the next step. Right. So if I do that, what I get? Imaginary part of A x plus i y plus b upon x plus i y plus 1 is equal to 1. So if I do solve this further, what I get? A x plus b and i y with A. This is x plus 1 plus i y is equal to y. Now what I can see here is in the denominator, I have x plus one plus i y. So what I can do in the further step is I can rationalize the denominator and solve this entire thing further. So what I get after rationalizing is imaginary part of a x plus b plus i a y upon x plus 1 plus i y, right? That's what was present in the denominator. Now I will multiply this entire expression and divide this entire expression with the conjugate of the denominator. So x plus 1 minus i y, x plus 1 minus i y. That is equal to 1. Further, if I try to solve this imaginary part. Of, now if I do solve this entire expression, what I get? ax plus b gets multiplied with this entire thing. ax plus b into x plus 1 minus i ax plus b into y plus i ay into x plus 1 and plus i ay into minus i y. So i into i is i square. i square is minus 1. So it becomes minus into this minus, so it becomes plus ay square. The whole thing divided by a plus b into a minus b, so a square minus b square. That is equal to y. So imaginary part of ax plus b into x plus 1 plus ay square plus i that is a y into x plus 1 minus a x plus b the whole thing multiplied with y this gives you x plus 1 the whole square minus i square that is again minus 1 so minus into minus makes it plus plus y square that's equal to now if i just write down because we are writing in every step imaginary part of something right so we can easily neglect the real part in this entire expression so if i just write the imaginary part imaginary part is this upon this right because in a complex number we know when it is z is equal to a plus i b the term which is with i is the imaginary part and the term which is not with i is the real part and we are talking about the imaginary part here. So I can just equate the imaginary part with y. 
So now what I get here is a y x plus one minus a x plus b into y upon x plus one the whole square plus y square is equal to right. So this is our entire expression now. Now what I can see here is I can also take out y common from the numerator. If I take out y common, what I get? A x plus 1 minus a x plus b. That is equal to y multiply with x plus 1 the whole square plus y square. Right? So if I see, I can directly cancel y from both ends. And if I do solve this further, what I get? A x plus a minus a x minus b is equal to x plus 1 the whole square plus y square. I can cancel this. I am left with a minus b. We already have been given the value of a minus b. That is equal to 1. So if I use that, I get what I get. This is equal to 1. So x plus 1 the whole square plus y square is equal to 1. Now I need to find the value of x, right? So what I can do is I can shift the entire left hand side here and right hand side comes here. So it gives me x plus 1 the whole square plus y square is equal to 1. Since I want to form the find the expressions in the form of x, I will take every other term there. So x plus 1 the whole square becomes 1 minus y square. If I try to solve this further, I get I get take square roots on both sides. I get x plus 1 is equal to plus minus root of 1 minus y square. And if I need x, I have to take 1 also on the other side. So minus 1 plus minus root of 1 minus y square. So he was asking me to find the values of the expressions in the form of x. I have got two expressions. One is minus 1 plus root of 1 minus y square. Or minus 1 minus root of 1 minus y square. Right? Now, if you see the options which matches in this question with the question is A and B, right? So there can be two correct answers for this question and there are two correct answers, A and B. So A and B, both of them are the correct answers because I have got the expression of X in terms of Y as minus 1 plus root of 1 minus Y square or minus 1 minus root of 1 minus Y square, right? So this is how we solve this question. I hope you have understood how to solve this question. I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe to my videos and also share these videos with your families and friends. Thank you.